Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I want to talk to you how you can erase a complex element in your photography using Photoshop. If you don't know how to erase complex elements in your photo, you could be missing out a lot on something. You could have an amazing photo like this photo that I had and have this car that just totally ruins the photo and then you never get you know, the exposure or the likes or the effect you want to create. If you stay until then, I'm going to show you my workflow on how to erase complex subject that the content awareness field does not handle properly. And what can you do? So I have this photo and check this out. The, uh, I just love the mood of the photo. It, this is the Maison Rose in Montmartre and just a beautiful street of Montmartre. I love the lights here. And I was thinking about, I actually already cropped the photo and I was gonna crop it even more because I wanted to get rid of the car. But here's the problem, by cropping it even more, if I take the car out, you see, if I, oh, that was the original crop. If I take the car completely out, I'm cutting out this and I'm cutting out this and I want this to be in full. I want something like that. Like, yeah, and I don't want to crop this. So I want something like this. So how to get rid of this complex car? Well, the method I'm going to show you is something I completely invented. There, I'm sure there's better methods out there. If you know one, leave me a comment. I'm always willing to learn. I learn and I share and that's the way I rock. I make two videos per week. Please give it a like if you can and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you didn't subscribe. And let me show you how I do it. It's a little bit of complex. It's not a, so much a beginner tutorial, but I'm gonna to try to make it as easy as possible for you. So the first thing that I do is I duplicate my original layer so that I'm not working on the original layer and so that we can compare things. And um, basically the problem is that if I go here and I select this whole car here, and these two people, and I go into edit, content aware fail. You see, no matter what I do, look at this, I'm gonna get a weird result. Like I'm getting things like, I don't even know what to tell the software to copy and paste there because there's nothing to copy and paste there. So I'm actually gonna do it so you can see the difference. So that's what Photoshop could do. And um, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. So the way I do it is I actually create textures. I take a texture from one side of the photo and I put it over uh, what's missing. So I'm gonna start out by the sidewalk here and I wanna take this texture here and put it over there and to cover the car. So for this, what I do is I take the, I press P for the pen tool and the pen tool is really easy to use. I click here cause I don't wanna have this. Uh, well, actually we could use it, we'll, we'll correct this. Uh, Command Z to undo, I'm gonna click here one time and I'm gonna make a selection here, selection there, here, and here, okay? So now I made, a, it's not a selection light, it's just a pass, we call that a pass. But if I right click on the pass, and I can make a selection, and this one I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna give it five pixel of feather. Now that's very important for this because it's gonna make it that it's a little bit blurry. So five pixel, and so now I have a selection of the sidewalk, which is a little bit feathers of five pixel. And now I'm gonna press Command J on my keyboard. So what Command J did, and if I hold on the Option key and click on the eyes, it's gonna put this on its own layer, and you can see here it's very feathered, okay? And if I hold on the Option key and I click on the eyes, everything comes back to normal. Now I'm gonna take the Move tool, and I'm just gonna move this to the right, you see? And I'm gonna place it to where I think uh, the side right is gonna go. So I press Command T if I need to, I can even rotate it a little bit because I believe it's gonna go this way. And that's not all. Now I'm gonna press the Option key on my keyboard and click and drag this, uh, this texture again. Okay, now that I've got these two textures here, I can select them, right click, merge layer, and that's gonna merge them into one. I'm, I can call this sidewalk. Now it looks weird at first, but it's not finished. What I can do now is I can use the, the stem tool. I press S for stem tool. And any tool in Photoshop, if you press the Control and Alt key and click and drag, you can make your stamp tool bigger or smaller. It works with everything. And now, you see, I want to get rid of uh, this weird texture, so I can press the Alt key and I can just brush here. And oh, I'm going to undo that. So one thing you need to make sure, which I didn't do, is you need to make sure the harness is at zero. You want your stamp tool to be very feathered, very smooth. Okay, let's do it again. So the way the stem tool works is you press Alt and then you, you see a preview of what you're doing and then you just brush here. So I'm copying this texture here and maybe this one here and I'm just trying to 
correct the issue. And what you can do is you, you press and drag, press and drag. And sometimes you're gonna get like repeating patterns. That's okay. We can correct that later. I can take this one and click here. And you know, the sidewalks in Paris are so random anyway that it's gonna kind of look cool. So look at this before and after. We put the sidewalk back there. And if you look at it from far, uh, it's pretty cool. Usually I would spend more time on it with the stem tool to make sure it's perfect, but I don't want this uh, tutorial to take two hours. So far, I'm already, we are off to a good start. Now comes the tricky part. We have like a couple there behind a lamp and there's a car. So the first thing is, is I want to copy this texture here down all the way to the sidewalk. So for this, I'm going to go back on the original layer and same technique, I'm going to P for pen tool and I'm going to take, I'm going to go here, click here, click here, here, here. And this time, because it's a very finite line, I'm not gonna make a selection of five, but of one. And I'm gonna press Command J to put this on its own layer. Take the Move tool, with the V is Move tool, or you can click here for the Move tool, and I'm gonna click and drag this uh, here. And you wanna make sure that Sidewalk is on top of this. So I'm gonna put this, because then as I go down, it's gonna go behind the person. Now we can see something is weird there, and the color and the luminosity don't match, but that's fine. First, I'm gonna press Command T, which is Command T is the free transform tool, the most used tool in Photoshop. So I'm gonna right click here, go to perspective, and I'm gonna slide this up. Slide this up a little bit. And by going to perspective, I can make this, yeah, slide this up. I wanna make this match here a little bit, like that. And uh, maybe make it a little bit longer. Oops, right click, you can go back to scale make it a bit longer, a bit, a bit more scale, something like this. And it doesn't really match because the colors don't match, but I'll show you a magic trick. We're gonna use the levels to make this match. So I'm gonna press Command L, and by going here, Command L just opens the layer on this one thing. And all you need to understand is play around with this middle slider here. Look at this, if I go on the right, I'm matching the same luminosity I'm not if it's too bright on the right, I'm matching it. I need to go a little bit darker because the light was going darker, it was going down, something like this. Okay, I love this. And now I'm gonna hold on the option key like I did, click and drag to make another one. Command T, right click, perspective, and uh, let's play around. And you know, you don't need to be exact because the structures in Paris are so weird anyway. I don't think anybody's gonna notice. I can make it a slightly bigger there. And again, you see the color needs to be adjusted. So um, same thing, Command L, and move this to the right, a little bit. Okay, cool, so now we've got these two things here. I'm gonna right click, Merge Layer, and I'm gonna call this White Wall. And uh, let me show you if I move out. So now we've created the white wall, the sidewalk. So we have the white wall and we have the sidewalk. Okay, but we still have a lot to go. We still have this whole part here. So we have the white wall and we have the sidewalk. Now, what can we do about uh, this couple here in the car? Well, it's gonna be even more tricky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this texture and I'm gonna copy it all over here. And um, let's see if we can pull that off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go here, take the pen tool, take some kind of like a blank, uh, yeah, kind of like, this part here to start with. All I care about is the texture. This time I'm gonna go max selection and one. Okay, make sure you're on the basic layer when you do that, so Command J. And now I can move this using the, uh, the move tool. And I'm going to put this, where am I gonna put this? I wanna hide, uh, I wanna hide this maybe. Yeah, I wanna hide this. So I'm gonna zoom in and again, Command L. Check this out. And I'm gonna make it match. Ooh, make it match. Okay, we can see there's still some stuff there, but already the matching really works well, okay? And now I'm gonna hold on the Option key with the Move tool, I'm just gonna click and drag one more here. And because we have Sidewalk that's on top, that's kind of cool. And uh, same thing, Command L to make it darker. You have to make it darker as it goes down. Okay, we have some things, but we can, we'll take care of that after. And then Command Alt, I'm gonna put this here on the side, here, Command Alt, here, and Command Alt, here. 
So yes, we can see some things. So all these layers, I'm going to select them all, press right click, merge layer. And I'm going to call this green wall. Okay. And uh, so we still have this part there, but okay. So now to make this match, what you can do is just use the stem tool as we did before. And you just take like some kind of the middle of the texture here and you just, oops, make sure when you use the stem tool that all layers is active so that everything, you know, in case I want to pick up some of that texture and mix it, it's there. And I can use the stem tool just to mix things together. Oops. Command Z if you do something weird like I just did. And voila, it's so cool. It just blends everything. Oops. Again, made a mistake there. So, and it works well also because the stem tool is um, very feathered, you see? Okay, and again, I would probably spend more time on it, you know, but honestly, this is already pretty good. It's looking good. We are reconstructing this part of the photo. Okay, last but not least, we still have that. So, same idea. I'm going to go back on the other layer. I'm going to, so I'll show you a really cool trick. What I, I'm going to do is I'm going to, Take the pen tool and I'm going to follow just like if there was this line here. And I'm going to follow that. Okay. Let's see if, if that can work. And I'm going to right click, make a selection of one pixel. Now that selection is at the wrong place. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to move that selection, select transform selection, and I'm going to move it to the left here on the clean wall. Okay. And then on the green wall, because I'm taking it from the green wall, I'm going to press command J and I'm going to move this over and it should sort of match perfectly what we were doing. Okay. That's pretty good. And I'm going to, right click and merge this two layer, you know, as I, as I build this thing. Okay. Now it's looking, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I still have a few things to correct. Like here we can see the car. It's kind of weird. So I'm just going to take the stem tool and I'm just going to correct this with the stem tool and sort of rebuild. Uh, you know, another thing you can do, I'll show you another trick. Actually what I did originally is I just took this part here. with the pen tool, you know, even this with little things here and um, right click, make selection. I actually took a feather of zero. Okay. You go on the original photo, command J and then V to move it down. Okay. So I'm basically copying the top here and I can adjust it and I can make it a bit bigger because it would be bigger in real life. Okay, I have to move over uh, here. Yes, I have to move over the white wall and over the green wall, which is that's the green wall, I, I believe. All right, let's see, is that the green wall? I'm gonna press a whole, yeah, that's the green wall. Okay, perfect, that's the white wall and that's where I am now. Okay, cool. So we call this the, uh, the lamp. And Command T and I'm just basically gonna make it smaller here. You can move it also using the arrows on the keyboard and I'm just reconstructing the lamp. Look at this. So now I'm going to take everything and merge everything with that, that layer, merge layer. So all the corrections that we did now is merge into one photo. That's the before, that's the after. Pretty good. Now to make it even better, we can see here there's something weird. So on the image, I'm going to take the pen tool again and I'm going to make some kind of random selection here where basically this is called ambient inclusion. It's supposed to be a shadow here. It's supposed to be like a very neat shadow. And uh, I'm going to go here, right click, make selection. Zero is fine. Command L. And again, I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to darken this, this whole thing here. Okay, Command D. Now, you see it's too, it's too bright. So I'm going to basically right click I went Command Z, Command Z, make selection, and I'm going to go maybe three radius. So now it's a little bit further, Command L, and maybe not that far, just a little bit, just to make this a little bit darker. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, that's 
I don't think anybody's going to notice that. Uh, and you know, I could spend more time with the stem tool, making sure everything is perfect. There's a bit of a bleed there, you know, but you get the general idea. Basically, the workflow is always the same. Number one, take a texture from one side, put it to the other. Number two, use the levels to match the luminosity. Number three, use the stem tool to make it match completely. And it's like a patchwork, but this photo, guys, was kind of like my most liked photo uh, on uh, Instagram over the last month, and I wanted to share this with you. You actually can download this photo, and uh, I give you a little challenge. You try to do the same thing that I just did, and post it on Instagram, tag me at PhotoSearch, and I will share the best on my story. So you just do, you do a story, you put at photo search on your story so I can share it because you can only share stories on Instagram. Put your name on it and the one who did a good job, I'll share it and you're gonna get some good followers out of my 80,000 followers on Instagram. All right, guys, I hope you learned something. If you know a better way of doing this, just leave me a comment, tell me how you're doing it. And that's how I've been doing it for 15 years. And I will see you next Tuesday.